Hi Summit friends, my name is Stephanie and I'm so excited to hang out with you over the next few weeks to pal it up and get into scripture together. I know you've just had an awesome few weeks with my friend Chica and so now I get to take the baton and journey with you, um, take a look at the Sunday readings for the next few weeks and see that they tell us actually a whole lot about discipleship in particular and many, many other things that we get to discover and pray through together. So I think we should just jump right into it. This week in particular, as I was reading um, the letter to Hebrews, the first word that just like stood out to me and popped out at me was the word discipline. And admittedly, that word doesn't have the most positive of connotations in my mind. It took me back to a memory of when I was younger and my siblings and I had this dream of building a pillow fort. And um, granted, this was like a big dream for us because we would just hear about like, you know, um, in elementary school, like on Monday where you talk about your weekends, like a lot of our friends talked about how they built these like cool pillow forts in the living room and like watch Saturday morning cartoons, like ate their cereal under their blankets. And it just seemed really, really fun. So my siblings and I wanted to try it. And so we waited one Saturday morning. We like double checked that my parents were asleep in their room so that, you know, just in case. And uh, we went to the living room, brought out all our pillows, all our blankets. And I swear we like took one big uh, cushion off of the couch. And immediately my mom was in the living room and she was so upset that we were like taking apart her couch and ruining her beautiful, clean living room. And I'm pretty sure after that, there was like a rule that we couldn't bring our pillows and blankets outside of our bedroom because it just isn't clean and blah, blah, blah. So when I think of discipline, I think of that moment of being like corrected about something and facing consequences and having to be, uh, learn the right way to do things. And it's not always super, super happy. But in Hebrews, we hear that discipline is a thing that the Lord does out of love and that it's a good thing to be disciplined. And if we look at the word even more, we realize that it also shares a root um, of the word with the word disciple. Like if you just look at them, they look so similar because they come from a word that means student or pupil. Um, and so we see this connection that discipline and disciple like go hand in hand. That to be a good student of something, um, we have to be willing to be teachable, to be corrected, um, to be put on a right path after we've gone a wrong way. So for example, I was disciplined by my mom along with my siblings about how we don't build pillow forts in the living room. And then that meant that I became a better student of my family life, of my home life, right? Uh, when you turn in a paper at school and you get disciplined on maybe your grammar or your word choice, you become a better student of writing and of language. Um, or even when we're like disciplined by a friend, when they have to call us out and be like, hey, you said something really hurtful or you did something that hurt me, we become a better student of friendship. Uh, discipline uh, comes hand in hand with learning to be a better student of that thing that we want to excel at. And so when it comes to being disciplined by God, it makes us a better student of God, a better disciple of the Lord. And that discipline in my life has come in many different ways. Sometimes it's something like a priest says and a homily that really like gets to me right. It's like a particular kind of discipline that comes from that. Or it's something that I read in scripture, like a particular reading that just shows me that maybe I've been doing something not the, in the best way. Um, or even just in prayer, when I look back on my day and reflect on kind of the things that I did and I realize like, oh, that wasn't the right thing. The Lord disciplines us in those ways and he does so out of love to grow us into better disciples and to better students of Him. And so the more that we are open to that discipline in our lives, the more we are able to be better disciples, to be better students of the Lord, to be better followers of the Lord in our lives. And so I want to challenge you, how do you perceive discipline from God in your own life? Are you open to the ways that maybe God wants to teach you to go along a better route? Um, write that down. Take stock of like, where have you been open to God's discipline? And maybe where have you resisted being disciplined? Um, and just invite the Holy Spirit to help you to see those things, to kind of you know shed light on those areas where you might need to be more open to that, to be a little more teachable by the Lord, um, and all with to make it into a prayer, uh, asking the Holy Spirit to help you be more disciplined as a disciple, to help you be a better student of the Lord, a better follower of God. 
So thanks for hanging out with me this week. If you have any thoughts about how you view discipline or if the Holy Spirit reveals anything to you from this week's readings, leave them in the comments below. And be sure that if you like this video, that you share it with a friend, that you subscribe to our channel and just give it to someone that you know and see what, that maybe they can add to the conversation as well. And don't forget to come back next week where we get to look at even more readings. All right, guys, praying for you.